In this video, we're going to look at the newton raphson method. So this is an iterative method that we can use to find out roots. It was invented by Newton and Raphson separately. So it's called the newton raphson method. So we've been given the formula. It's in the formula book. So we need our function, which we've been given. So f of x is x squared plus 4x minus 9. And we need the derivative of the function. So f dash x is, well, we differentiate it. We get 2x plus 4. And we've been told our root is in the interval 1 and 2, between 1 and 2. And we need it to three decimal places. So... If we start with x0 as 1.5, so to find x1, so xm plus 1 is x0, which is 1.5, minus f of 1.5, which is 1.5 squared plus 4 1.5s, minus 9. So just substituting 1.5 into f of x over f dash of 1.5. So substituting the 1.5 into the derivative now. So 2 times 1.5 plus 4. So this is what we type into the calculator and that will give us our x1. So we've got 1.5 minus 1.5 squared plus 4 1.5s minus 9 over 2 1.5s plus 4. So I've typed all of that into the calculator and I've got x1 as 1.607 and so on. So to find x2, I'm going to be typing that answer into my formula and all I've got to do is change the 1.5 to the answer button now so I'm going to use the answer button on the calculator so changing all the 1.5s into a and s and I'm going to click equals again so x2 is 1.607 and so on and I can even click equals again and I've got and it's not going to change so uh, the answer is 1.607 to three decimal places Okay, another question. Use the newton raphson method to find the root of f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus 12 in the interval between 2.5 and 3 to three decimal places. So we've got f of x. We need the derivative f dash x. So we differentiate f of x and that gives us 3x squared times by the power, take one off the power minus 2x so now we've got our formula if we start with x0 as we'll go for the middle again 2.75 so x1 is going to be 2.75 minus f of 2.75 which is 2.75 cubed minus 2.75 squared minus 12 over f dash of 2.75 3 2.75 squared minus 2 2.75s so we just type it into the calculator and we get out our answer for x1 we've got 2.67 8 1, the 8 1 recurring. And we're going to change the 2.75 into ANS. 
so that gives me I have answer minus answer cubed minus answer squared minus 12 over 3 answer squared minus 2 answer so all the 2.75s change into answer and press equals And I've got 2.67589 and so on. I'm going to press equals again for x3. And I've got 2.67588 and so on. So to three decimal places, we've got 2.676.